beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed hallelujah praise the lord we are praying once upon a time there was a wicked man called haman and he was plotting in his heart to destroy the people of god and destroy the entire destiny are we together now to rob the arrival of the messiah and then esther got to the palace and forgot why god took her there and Mordecai sent a word and said, don't you think, you don't care because the palace has sealed you. But when they are done with us, are we together? Paraphrasing, you will not be spared. So you, you don't have to wait until the day trouble comes to your doorstep. Are we together now? I'd like you to pray. We are going to speak to the six geopolitical zones. Stretch your hands prophetically across these zones and declare. We fortify the borders of this nation. Lift your voice and pray. We speak over the six geopolitical zones of this nation. We decree and declare the reign of righteousness, the reign of justice. Hallelujah. The second stanza of the national anthem says, O God of creation, it says, direct our noble cause he says guide our leaders right help our youth the truth to know you see the devil used a scheme over many years to erode these things that's the most powerful part of our anthem and yet you ask one of these little ones they can't even sing the national anthem talk more of the national pledge it was a positive indoctrination growing up even children that were bad that that consciousness and now it's no longer there are we together do you know that over 70 percent of the 180 million nigerians are less than 40 years that means nigeria is largely a youthful territory you see that we are concerning ourselves with the people who are this they are no matter you see death is something that no matter your pride it will catch up with you especially as a fallen man you see that so the problem of this nation quite honestly 
yes it's leadership but it's not the old people we keep talking about there is a generation 70 percent less than 40. remember when we thought that solomon oppressed the people so bad the bible lets us know that when solomon died his son rehoboam came and the people said your father oppressed us so much but the bible says he made silver like dust that means someone was paying that price and they only pleaded they said don't take away the tax just reduce it small and that young boy went to consult with wicked men and he said what my father did is nothing compared to what i would do i foresee that if we don't pray for this nation the crop of young people that are coming and the level of deprivation that is in the heart of people it's not old men that kill and maim people on the street it's young people and if those kinds of people get into government we're in trouble so it is true that we have problem with our government but the bigger problem is that if a whole generation is not mentored to see the sense in a decent life that has dignity that someone can kill a woman and go free that in their minds there is no the values of respect godliness and all of these things are not there there is there is a terrible catastrophe we must avoid are we together now yes it is terrible to have the youth of a nation not honor god any man that disrespects god is it an elder he will respect is it the laws of the land that he will respect there is a wicked spirit that wants to hijack the destiny of this nation and we are going to pray are we together now from corruption to all kinds of of wickedness you deserve something they don't give you they say you are not a yoruba person you are not a hausa person you are not Igbo. you are not this and that the pledge says i pledge to nigeria my country to be faithful we are liars because we are not doing it to be faithful loyal and honest he said to serve nigeria with all my strength now here's the part to defend her unity i want us to really pray you know many times as i move around and i see our young people i know that if god it inspires me to do more but i know that if god does not help us believe me there is trouble brewing are we together now the values that made the people today we inspire are almost lost in our nation and we have to pray for a restoration we have to pray for everything god to return we have to pray that god by his wisdom will reveal the strategy for dealing with corruption are we together tribalism ethnic sentiments and all of that we cannot allow our children imagine um i was i was watching a program i think it was day before yesterday and a particular man entered a compound and found out that his room um his yard um was his yard mate was inside he carried his child like this one that's someone else's child and threw the child inside a well they came out and saw a dead child and the man acted as if he doesn't know anything no human being you must be empowered to be that wicked no men are not supposed to be that wicked that means that there are spirits in this nation please don't confuse what is happening it's not human there are spirits and the church has a role to play our role is first and foremost to pray and then to trust god and to mentor the leaders that will rise and take over we're a church that must act this praying and saying, oh god go and do something about it no we must pray number one but then we must mentor a generation and empower them with all the spiritual financial and territorial resources available to make sure that men who love god and have dignity and value for life occupy those positions are you ready to pray father this nation will not fail this nation must rise lift up your voice 
prophesy the new Nigeria. I truly, truly believe in the new Nigeria. I believe with all my heart. I believe that the labor of our heroes past will not be in vain. I believe that a time will come like Ezra, there will be the rebuilding of the wall. A time will come when the proverb Ichabod will not be said about our nation again. In spite of the seeming decadence, in spite of the seeming challenge that we have across territories, Lord, we prophesy a new Nigeria. We decree and declare that the forces that attempt to destroy our youth, the forces of corruption, the forces of moral decadence, the forces of laziness, entitlement, mentality, the forces of irresponsibility, and every antichrist activity working in this nation, we challenge it in the name of Jesus. By your spirit, oh God, let the young people in this nation receive a new orientation. A new orientation about the dignity of life, the dignity of labor, the dignity of respect, the dignity of honor. Reorient our minds. In the name of Jesus, pray. Hallelujah. Let's pray for all the believers who are in position of government. Lord, the courage to be right and to stay right. Lift your voice and pray. Courage. It takes courage to be right in this nation. It takes courage. Because sometimes you will be right at the expense of your life. Hallelujah. My spirit is fired up tonight because I know by the Holy Ghost that God is not going to rest until that which he has declared over my life and your life until it comes to pass. If you believe, say Amen. Jesus gave a parable and said there was a man that went to seek help from his neighbor paraphrasing and the neighbor for a long time would not attend to him and the Bible says that man kept persisting persisting and though the man would not talk to him but for his importunity he kept drumming him in other words i'm not going back the woman kept going to the judge i meant to say avenge me avenge me my adversary and then he would not listen to her the bible says he neither feared god nor man but that woman said i may not have the power to beat you but i have the power to force you to move and she demonstrated persistence and the bible says she wearied that unrighteous judge until he moved on her behalf i spoke about diligence last week and it's a very powerful key there is a way you stand and insist that lord what is mine must enter my hand i've seen it in my dreams i've seen it in my visions but lord i agree with you that it must be in my life. Archbishop Benson Idahosa said, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. So we are here tonight, among other things, not just to pray for the sick alone, not just to deliver the oppressed alone, but to trust God to take away every barrier that is capable of stopping you from testifying and seeing the goodness of God in your life listen the theology of oppression is very straightforward it's very simple god has an agenda completion satan has an agenda his agenda is to stop whatever will make god happy 
period his agenda is not to cause you pain his agenda is not to make you broke listen his agenda is not to make you sick his agenda is not to make you fail that's not satan's agenda his agenda is to make sure he becomes a resistance to whatever in and through your life will bring god glory that's it so if it takes crippling your destiny for your life to become a mockery to god satan will go to any length to make it happen so if satan makes you broke it is not about finance if all you are looking at is finance you are, you are making a mistake it's not your finances he wants to use your life as a message to say god you are a liar so his assignment is to find everything god said concerning your life that he tied his integrity to and use your life like a canvas to paint a picture because you are the highest of his creation are we together now so if satan ensures that this man and his wife don't give birth it's not about barrenness you see if all you see is oh god when are we going to have a child it's not about barrenness there is something that your giving birth to a child will do to the name of the lord within your territory and that's what satan is fighting when elizabeth was barren it was not about her it was about john the baptist who will ordain jesus who will save the world who will bring glory to the father it wasn't about elizabeth she was just a scapegoat because she came into the midst of prophecy are you getting what i'm saying now there are some of you the devil is fighting your breakthrough because he knows that that gate and that door has never been opened in your family and he knows you are too kind to receive the blessing of the lord and allow your loved ones cry so he would do anything he has already seen your heart and he will make sure it doesn't get to your hand i have learned from the word of god and by experience that satan is not looking for many things satan is looking for anything that can give god glory whatever can give god glory is a threat to satan i think you should write that down anything that in and through your life can give god glory is a big threat to satan more than you know your job can be a threat to satan if it will give god glory your business can be a threat to satan if it will give god glory your prosperity can be a threat to satan if it would give god glory your having children can be a threat to satan and that's what he's looking for so why should the devil allow god give you a car when he knows that with that car you will no longer come to church alone you want to buy a bus and he had your prayer when you were vowing and said lord bless me with this bus and i will make sure this bus is full every sunday and the devil says oh i had that if you said lord buy me a bus to prove to the people in my village i'm not a failure he doesn't mind because all that doesn't bring glory to god let me tell you not everything threatens satan i can tell you what threatens satan the moment he sees your heart saying lord my life and anything that will pass through this life will give you glory it may look simple but you have said something to satan that is more painful than praying in tongues that my life lord bring these millions for me and lord if you bring these millions for me i have 11 siblings along my family line that have not gone to school and lord i know that if you put this in my hand that will make sure all of them go to school and i will make sure they go to mission schools and satan says aha uh -huh. the school was not the issue the mission mission abi and that's it an attack that you did not invite comes to your life and you'll be wondering what is happening to my business it's not the business there is an agenda you have connected your business to god's heart and satan says that's a threat remember in the bible satan killed children he didn't wait till they grew if he killed children he will kill visions even before they manifest he doesn't have to wait till you get the first contract he doesn't have to wait till you start the church 
he's seeing you in the secret place praying and say lord you know i desire this healing anointing not just for myself in this entire territory the men of god are wonderful but it's just evangelism here there's no demonstration of the power of god lord i come to you if it pleases you can you grant that to my hands ah the devil sees what you are saying if you said lord anoint me because my uncle said something that i will never be a success and i need to prove to him it will not threaten the devil but the moment satan is looking for the kingdom component of your prayer the kingdom component of your communication anything you say and do if satan can find the heart of god in it he's threatened lord i thank you lord you know that is it's not like i don't like men lord I, I want to be able to to marry somebody that loves you it's my it's always been my privilege to serve you serve you i want my children to call upon your name the devil had that one too he didn't hear lord i worship you he didn't hear lord i thank you for this day he had my children will worship you and satan says no way make sure make sure that this lady wherever her marriage is bury it to nonsense give her money give her a job because she has not made any statement about god being glorified in the job so she can have the job but the one that god will be glorified through that's the one i'm interested in are we together and then when satan hears you pray prayers like lord take my everything the devil says demons you can go i'm staying here take my everything <laughs> There is a reason why satan attacks he does not attack you because of you listen god is comforting us already because there are many of us wondering what is all this lord what is this i will see something almost getting to me what is the thing why why is satan taking my case personal there is a reason the reason is not you don't be fooled it's not you the reason is something you represent something that is of god through you satan has seen that by God's preordination, your womb is supposed to carry one of the prophets that will herald God's end time agenda. And he says, whatever, make her marry wrong or make her not get married or make her get married to somebody who has the cause of barrenness. Just do whatever you can do to clamp this lady. Oh God, my father is 71. They are still staying in a rented house. Lord, would you open a door for me? And as you do this, Lord, you see my heart. I will renovate all the churches in our village. I will sponsor this. I will buy a bus. And Satan says, buy a bus for nonsense. Renovate which church? All of a sudden, you find out that the business that everybody likes you. Suddenly, your business partner starts saying, I don't understand you again. It's not the business partner, my brother. A commitment from you has touched the heart of God and it sounded an alarm to the gates of darkness you see when you when when you understand how and why Satan attacks then you will know why the power of God will continue to come around your life until victory is complete mm. one day I can't remember where I was driving to. Sometimes I just drive in the night alone. And sometimes I just move. And then I parked somewhere around that market side. And I was looking at someone. Just passing. And the Lord was telling me something about that guy. And the Lord was telling me, that guy going. I just saw the guy just moving. And he said, that guy, the devil has rubbished that guy. True story. And that in this guy's destiny, he was supposed to be the first preacher in his entire lineage. And I saw the boy moving with all these this rough and scattered boys around. And I was just looking. I said, my God. If your life does not have a message that gives God glory, you will beg Satan to come. He will run. Satan, a demon, goes to a wilderness. And because there's nothing in that wilderness 
that has God's assignment, the demon casts itself out of the wilderness back to a human being that God can use. Remember Jesus said when a spirit leaves a man, it goes to a wilderness. He didn't find anything in that wilderness that is pro-God. And he left it back. said, I want the man because God can still use him. I can tell you why Satan is threatened by everything around you. Your worship does something to him. Your commitment does something to him. When Satan comes and sees our little children hearing the word of the Lord, he says, what can I do to this family to stop them from coming for koinonia? And the easiest way is, can I cripple their finances? Because if there is no money, there's no food to eat. There's no transport. And if there's no transport, there will be argument between daddy and mommy. You see that? Wise plan. All of a sudden, you find out that something that would have worked does not work again. And he steps back and allows you to blame yourself. And while the children are suffering, they say, sorry, it's time for koinonia. I say, koinonia what? And the devil said, that's it. Mission accomplished. It was never about money. That's why a lot of people say, why is it that unbelievers who don't love God, they are getting rich. What in their life threatens Satan? It's not about, I mean, look, if you think it's about money and tea and bread and cars, no, sir. Satan was willing to give it to Jesus. He said, Jesus, why go the long route? Just bow to me. I will give you this. Meaning, if Satan, if Jesus bowed to Satan, all of a sudden, even Caesar will be dethroned. And Jesus could go and sit down. And Satan doesn't mind. Provided you are my boy, enjoy everything. You never, the devil will never allow you to hold the hands of God and hold the hands of the blessing. He will say, choose one. Hold the blessing and leave God. Or hold God and leave the blessing. The miracle service says you can hold both. That's why we're here tonight. Yes, sir. That you can say, I can still serve God and pay my sibling school fees because of the blessing of the Lord. I can still serve God and I don't need to go and collect any charm, yet I will prophesy to nonsense and cast out any demon. You see that? Listen, you are here tonight. I'm announcing to you very straight up what we are here for. We are not here to waste our time. We are here to stand in agreement with God. I have seen how people in ignorance allow the devil to make nonsense out of their lives. Choose between raising a godly family or not getting married. Choose between being a very wealthy man or a pastor. Hello? Choose between being the first graduate from your village or being a popular musician. Anything that you can use to give God glory is what Satan is looking for. He will find you. He will haunt you. And if you do not understand the systems of the kingdom, he will make sure that he makes nonsense out of your life. And listen, the moment he sees that your health and vitality and energy has been committed unto God, he will now find a particular disease and program it across your lineage. Not you. If you have headache, that means it may just be that you need you just need some time to rest. Satan is too wicked to just give you a headache. Satan wants to program something. You heard that, dear lady? Cancer in um, the grandmother, just like fate can be transferred. So you program it in a way that a young lady is just 35, 36, and all of a sudden she's feeling, what is this? Ah. Mama died of cancer. Now I'm having cancer. Tomorrow another person has cancer. Those people don't need healing. They need deliverance. It looks like it's healing. Ask Jesus. Woman, thou art loose first. When you are loose, then he laid hands on her. He said, now you, your body can participate. But the real thing is the bondage in the spirit. 
Are we together now? Yes. Anything you see in your family that is not only you that is suffering, you need to stand for them today. Oh. If you are the only one having it, it may just be you're not understanding your this and that, but provided you are not the only one. No. Your grandmother was raped by a stupid man. Your mother was raped by a stupid man. You, you were raped by a stupid man. Must you wait until your daughter is raped? You stand up and say, in the name of Jesus. Someone paid your grandmother's dowry and ran away. They paid your mother's dowry and ran away. Now somebody is wanting to pay your dowry and, and run away. You stand and say, Lord, this must end. Look, let me tell you, nothing changes until men get angry enough to say, Lord, it must stop. Are we together? Yes, it must stop. How about finances? Look at me. There are some of you here, I don't mean to insult you and I don't mean to embarrass you, but let me tell you the truth. Until God does something to your hand, money will never stay in your hand. I'm not talking about money. You can be as intelligent as whatever. I'm telling you, it takes more than a good transaction to keep this thing. Because money, like a human being, has a spirit, a soul, and a body. The spirit of money is mammon or the Holy Spirit. There has to be a controlling factor. The soul of money is the, the, the intellectual system that brings the exchange. The body of money is the physical thing you are holding. So if all you are holding is just the physical thing, you are a joker. There is a spirit that can call what is in your hand and it will leave you. It's true. So the devil sees that this family wants to call upon the name of the Lord and make sure that everybody remains poor. Can I tell you this? And I don't mean to insult you, but more than 60% of the people seated here, your major prayer point, corporately as a family, is, oh God, let your heavens be open so that your supplies can come. There may be other things, but you will prefer supplies a thousand times than your leg that is paining you to be, to be fine. There is an agenda. I've shared with you my vision. I will continue to share it. Years ago, I was praying. I think I was, uh, I can't remember what was happening. And then my, my ceiling just disappeared. I didn't see a building again. And the next thing I looked and I saw a giant creature, mighty creature, the eyes as big as the head of a man. And then it was, it looked like a dinosaur, but the tail had its own life, meaning you could disconnect the tail from the body and it would still be in existence. And it was just fuming with red eyes looking at me and saying, so you think you can bring God's people into abundance. That was the end. That was when I agreed that prosperity is spiritual. If all you have is a contract, you are joking. If all you have is a shop, well done, but you are in trouble. If all you have is a good business, you heard the testimony of this dear um, wonderful man that came from Koza that just shared here now. Estates and everything just given. No, it's not just a man that gave him. There is a spirit behind it. You need to be empowered to fail. I hope you know that when you are failing consistently, there is an anointing making that happen. An anointing is simply an empowerment. Everybody hates you. You are supposed to bless me. As soon as I come, you hate me. I now go here and I'm too late. It's not normal. When the coincidences are too accurate, there is a spirit making it happen. Someone calls you and says, please come. Let me give you something to pay the rent of your family. The moment that statement happens, the devil makes sure that the man receives a call that is an emergency call. Are you seeing that now? And he leaves the office. You arrive at the office, you find out the door is locked. He says, if the young man comes, just give him 2,000 to go back. It's a lie. The man did not leave. Something happened. There is a spirit behind that operation. How many of you have gone to, to seek people over something that is so simple? 
maybe just a signature and it will take two weeks three weeks you believe it's normal and then sometimes a man of god may pray for you and speak and you go back and the person who should not be there in the afternoon is now there he was not there an angel kept him there this is how this kingdom operates your destiny helper the destiny helper of your family can be two blocks away from you but because there is no spiritual connection my brother and my sister you can stay 15 years whereas the person ordained by god to lift you is just two blocks you will go to america and return back like a thief you will go to uk and return back like somebody that god hates but the day god decides to locate you you will be surprised is god speaking to us that's why we're here tonight you can be a man of god and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body probably god has been telling you look your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy but you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years i will come for koinonia you will now say next week you will say kai uh, ah i'm feeling cold let me just relax as soon as you want to travel your sister will just say ah, i just came on break let me tell you all those acting is a lie but there's something about the will of man the day you stamp your feet and say today i name today as my day of breakthrough the bible said today if you hear his voice every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again it has to be today are we together so tonight i don't want you to sit down and waste your time you are hearing people testify my brothers and my sisters i tell you by the grace of god there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head can god do this you can't leave lagos leave the east leave the north and come and sit down you are wondering you believe that god brought you to waste your time no sir no sir i tell you in a moment in a twinkling of an eye oh can can the hepatitis go can this go we're talking god here we're not talking the the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital the god of heaven can that yoke go we are nine people in our family apostle nobody has a job it's not about the job the devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children those nine people the money from those nine people who empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say i've tried ah but there's a song that says satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> we make our boast in the lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of october will let will let the devil know what is in nigeria he has tasted what is in america what is in russia what is in this and then you see your life change a miracle is a wonder that that the limit oh, hold his hands try to stop him two of you you know that game they used to play that you try oh yeah do it now yeah don't no, no don't draw him too much sorry you are not very kind now watch this are you seeing that now this guy can be growing old every year you are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise let me tell you my assignment this is me now coming 
into this equation my my assignment is not to cut what is there my assignment is to carry this like this this one because you see i can cut what is there and pass you can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go he's going to hold you and say come back apostle has gone so the, the job has not been done my assignment by the grace of god is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way one, that's number one that's not all then my assignment is to turn you to the direction that's where prophecy is powerful and then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you're on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barring in your family are saying ah i i i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of god that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there's 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next sunday in a way that even the critics say i'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said i never believed that will buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing god brought you here to change your life listen to me i repeat god brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it will be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk ah, i will i will build the house i know god is faithful i will do this and god is saying no moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that god will give you you stood before the red sea for forever it refused to part but god brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god i used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes
for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you god takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what i said god does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like julius berger will build a house and put b god will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human I hear testimonies of people every time the things that God does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen I believe him I may not claim I know everything about him but this God when God decides to stand up from his throne he said now arise from your throne God can stand up have you heard that the earth is his footstool so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the Bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my God is mighty. Our own belief many times is the reason why God does not move. We come and sit down and pile up. Some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful. But you are there wondering, can you move, oh God, concerning my money? Can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly and says if God could move didn't man of God pray for you in by March didn't your pastor fast seven days for you and you say it's true oh, that's the devil tonight your faith must be open your faith must rise to the heavens to say Lord I don't want to leave this place just knowing I'm blessed I want to know what happened to me I want to hold a substance God is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting god for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from God thank God for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint Lord I left Lagos this morning and I came here 
I left Bielsa and I came here. My car almost had an accident. Lord, I would have been in a convention now as a man of God. I left it to be here. I'm looking for something. Let something come from heaven. And your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven. And all of a sudden, boom, I tell you, in one minute. I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bunker Crusade. There were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore whether you wore red or green or blue my eyes were fixed lord what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him what kind of man is this that no one criticizes him Abba, i didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone no when it came i knew that i got it i knew that i got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute I like you to open your mouth and cry mention specifically why are you here talk to the Lord please pray please pray pray with all your heart Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. Yeah. 
creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change jesus one more time creator creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus i want you to see the lord lifting your burden you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change jesus you are able great and mighty god you are able I will continue to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. The messianic prophecy. Jesus' own manifesto. He's saying, this is what I came to do. Isaiah 61. It says, the spirit of the Lord. We are reading from verse 1 to 4. Is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. For And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair waste cities, he says. The desolations of many generations. I'd like you to pray. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family, insist that tonight is the night when it will happen. Overflow one, pray. Overflow two. Overflow three, by the roadside. Those following from around the world, open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart. hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now <laughs> just like a train just passed like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and 
like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please, let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer are in Overflow 1, the Overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in Overflow 1, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at Overflow 1 outside. Now, listen. When there is no speed in your life, listen. Imagine that I have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but where will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the bible says the hand of the lord came upon elijah he was empowered of the spirit and he ran i i I'm, I'm saying this before i pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around no when that grace comes upon you what god is saying is i'm ready to shift you that within a short time you will see a lot happen in your life in three days the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready he was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus, let that anointing right now. I shift men. Speed. Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay. Be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. Speed! Speed! In the name of Jesus, I command everything that has refused to move in your life I move it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. The Holy Ghost is moving you. Except this prayer is not for you. 
there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service Shekete Karakatosh Embrakata Katokate Lakata. Lift your hands, please. I'm praying. For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 I decree it I declare it I decree it and I declare it no more delay I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life. This lady wearing hijab right now, the Lord is shifting you. That lady, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Spirit take away delay from your life. Right now, in the name of Jesus. now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three 
everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of Jesus I crush Satan I crush his works inside, outside I command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Kaparato sheke teke te sheke teke 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 te empreketos release them I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach release them now let them go in the name of Jesus let them go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I stretch my hands here right now the fire of God is setting people free now lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them now lose them lose them in the name of jesus lose them now those outside lift your hands god is about to set you free please i like you to pray everyone pray enough is enough tonight everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of Jesus hear me the Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as I pass here I don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now I stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katanika, a Keto Santa Ricata, Empre Keto Seketa, a Kato Sekriaka, Manta Precotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here i want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors I'm only going to pass here right there as soon as I come close to you except God is not God if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in Jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now I command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now, release them, release them, release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now, 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 now. 
be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two, let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands. I'm still praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names. At the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus! Bring them out! That devil must let you go today! My God! Look at what God is doing in Overflow 3! Shaprakato shekete skaba Embrekato koto shabaria Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Shakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata preketish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you. I speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 
go let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah i'm inside this place now and i'm standing in the spirit i've not started impartation yet but the lord is showing me the number 12 and the lord is saying there are 12 people here there is a strong call upon your life there is a mighty anointing lord where are they shakatos kapakarikata drink of that wine mantekatos kateketa shaprakata a ministry of signs and wonders ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders i'm still praying the anointing of the spirit is still locating men i don't know why god is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders the lord is telling someone you are the liberator of your family a ministry of signs 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 there are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen i'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Shakuske paura katu jekete, ende kele katos kade brakata, rakas kude ko shabahasiya kata, embreketesh. I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Out. Out. Now. Now. This lady wearing a red hair tie. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a grace that is coming. Let that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that anointing come upon you. hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I release you. My dear, hold my hands to you. I'm seeing that your life is about to change. Two weeks from now, it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life. I decree and I declare it over your life. I stand by the anointing and I pray for you. Father, according to your word, within two weeks, turn this lady's life around. Supernaturally. In the name of Jesus. Emeka, who is Emeka? Emeka, I'm hearing a name Emeka, overflow three here. I'm just talking to overflow three people. Emeka, Emeka, please quickly, please quickly, don't waste our time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray. What do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place, you came for NYSE. I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it 
but every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now. I decree. Overflow. Two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around um where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it poleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from Ben you are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you. Come quickly. Please. Low, low, low like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, what do you do, my friend? You're a student, you love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on husband and wife. Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So my friend, you love God eh? but you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. 
huh? don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of Ahitophel God may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus if you are under the yoke of wrong friends I stand and I speak right now may the Lord set you free this night in the name of Jesus Christ my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you're a nice lady come I'm looking at you I'm seeing a young lady but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh it's a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so uh, god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my dear, you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we're going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bringing, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing an anointing going to benway state 
Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is in the name of Jesus? The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke, complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but ah, you please come. Ah. This is your first time coming. I need to pray for you. What do you do, ma? you are jobless man huh i'm looking at you and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed i hope i'm not embarrassing you i want to pray for you i give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and I declare, I'm seeing chains leaving you. I command those chains to go. Father, turn her life around. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now, I uproot it now, I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest? I served, my father served and died. And died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please, quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus name, say it in Jesus name, my life is about to change. Say it again, say in Jesus name, reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus name, sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man. But I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad? Your father is a priest currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus hi jesus power is really superpower really superpower that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live 
out now everything that is not of God. Our father is a priest, or not her uncle, direct father. Imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things. But in Jesus' name, you are set free. This this man too. Why is he here? Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. You are receiving the healing anointing now. Eh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing. Your healing power. Now, oh dear. Our time is gone. This is... Sometimes I honestly wish that this is because there are so many things I see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what I said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of Jesus I take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I take away distraction I take away distraction I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. my dear come this lady waving your hands come quickly your life is about to change come where are you coming from you are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God, but at the same time, I do business. But it's Sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, oh, oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head and if i don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir? are you new here by elsa by elsa hmm. all the way i think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate. Evangelist. But both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere? 
Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Hmm. Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you are an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month. And then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio. And then oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine. Sir, I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody, it's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare your life turns around from today in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness, 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 goodness. Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus be healed from it now I command that devil that virus go now in the name of Jesus you go and write your test bring back your results it's gone listen I, can we Our time is gone. Oh dear. you see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained that's why we do our best the healing anointing is already flowing God wants to heal maybe I will just pray I will just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the 
healing power of God, very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly, please. Lay your hands now. I want to pray. Jesus. A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the Holy Ghost eye conditions in the name of Jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear 
and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. make your way be bold don't be ashamed make your way as soon as the power of god has touched you back pain since hold last on year hold you. on just a moment please all make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected please i want you to wave it jesus is still healing people you just come join the queue god bless you yes please back pain since last year can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes just sit for a few minutes and then we're done let's just hear the testimonies if as you are hearing the testimony god is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about it 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them the left ear. put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes all sir you mentioned also, also how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, yes, no biologically biologically where yeah. are you from i'm from each but i got i mean I'm from state. there's a reason why i said this there's a lot you don't know where you are from there is a long story leave the issue of healing now where eh? i need to pray for you don't feel bad huh Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? With my mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? 
Father, help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now and I declare be free in Jesus' oh, name. Sir. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower, lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? It's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see so you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? Two thousand and seven. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two overflow two the overflow by the roadside so you bring the person in the name of jesus perfection for you right now in jesus name she's had serious um, back pain that back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct but today they asked you to ride a horse yes who said you should ride a horse the doctor or just advisors <laughs> don't, don't she's shy <laughs> the horse this is the man. It's amazing how you come for Koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. A word for the blessings of your spirit. We thank you for your favor upon our lives. Come on, bless his name. Thank you for your mercy, for your wisdom for sparing our lives by your grace we say thank you Lord we bless you we bless you I choose to give you thanks go ahead and express it unto God bless the Lord O oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord Oh my soul, and forget not his benefits, who forgiveth our sins, who healeth our diseases. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very important kingdom attitude always give thanks sometimes we get too familiar with the things that God is doing in our lives but let me tell you something every time you fail to see the faithfulness of God in your life all he needs to do can you help me sound please all he needs to do is to step out just step out for one moment and I know that I am nothing without him I don't need a preacher it's a revelation i know that he's 
Steve puts it in no better way than his song. You are my oxygen. You are my daily bread. You are the air that I breathe. Very powerful song. You are my oxygen. You are my daily bread. You are the air that I breathe. There's a part of the song that I love so much. It says, and I. I am desperate for you And I, I am lost without you And I, and I, and I, I am desperate for you the song one more time with life and understanding. Are you ready now? You are my oxygen. Come on. You are my oxygen. You are the air that I breathe. Don't just get excited. Think about the revelation behind the song. You are my oxygen. You are my daily without you I'm desperate for you I'm lost without you Just tell him Lord you are truly everything to me you are truly everything to me I want you to become part of your life always give God thanks thanks become part of the fabric of your life let it become part of the fabric of your life always give him thanks Thank you, Jesus. the miraculous power of God flows on the wings of thanksgiving we're saying thank you for our miracle services thank you, for our services Jesus. for your faithfulness you have kept us we're celebrating graduates in our midst celebrating your blessings of life we thank you for equipping us with your word lord i thank you and say i live by the principles of the world take this thing serious Take it very serious. I will not tell you to do things that God didn't direct me. I like you to say, I live by the word. My life is founded upon the word. I reject every doctrine and every teaching that does not line up with the principles of the word. Hallelujah. Put it down. I was sharing with I think there was a time we were having a discussion. Please sit down. We are having a discussion at home. And I was saying something. Uh, I think we are talking about um, certain prophets around and their accuracy and all of these things. Uh, I think I was sharing. We are just sharing at home. And I was saying my concern is not your degree of accuracy. My concern is not how powerful you are. Hallelujah. My concern is how much of the word of God you live by. 
I've shared it here many times and I'll say it again. That someone walks at you and says, your name is wrote to me. You served in Zamfara State. You just knew and say, Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not teaching you to be critical. I'm teaching you to be matured so that you can discern spirits. And not make yourself gullible to just anything. Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. In other words, every manifestation of the spirit in the kingdom should directly glorify Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that your word will prevail over our minds. I pray that your word will truly, truly, truly change us. You are equipping us and bringing us back to the foundations of truth and the word. You are teaching us the principles that the ancient knew. I pray in the name of Jesus that even as we transit through our lives, you help us to make the word of God the standard for our lives. That we master your principles so much that the new age teachings and the doctrines of devils and demons will not kick us out of the things of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah I once studied a I was just going through several things online and I saw a teaching that gave the man was teaching and i know it was a scripture he took and he was teaching it very falsely and he was making certain decrees that believers have the right to administer salvation to others and i understand because the bible says whoever sins you forgive is forgiven and all kinds of things and what the person was teaching he was saying that God doesn't forgive anybody since he doesn't do anything it is left for the believers to choose whether people will be saved or not how do you like that and it had scriptural backings and many of us read and say really and so it gives room for perversion and living immoral lives and everything and people say I have realized that it's within my power to secure my salvation your majesty I can't but bow and I lay my all before you now in royal robes that I don't deserve I live to serve your majesty. How many of you are truly seeing growth in your spiritual life? Growth and maturity. Let me see your hands, honestly. That you're coming to a point where you know that when God sends you out of this system, you can represent him. That in the next 10 years when we hear about you, we will hear that you are still living and walking aright. If that is not happening to you, we are failing. Are you listening to me? Whether crowds come until people sit on the zinc, if there is no transformation, then we are failing. And God has helped us to define success properly. That success is not just about crowds coming or people falling and all of these things. That is about the quality of transformation. That if at any time God picks this lady and sends her into the system, she will represent the kingdom with such power and grace. If that happens, we are truly successful. Are you listening to me? If all that happens is that we celebrate numerical strength and increase and excellence and all of these things and there is no notable transformation 
that people are breaking free from the shackles of sin and satan and coming to a point where the word of god becomes the priority where people are experiencing the blessings the goodness the life the prosperity of the kingdom where people are being prepared and equipped to understand who they are and the principles of the kingdom if that is not happening then we are failing are you listening to me that's why we took our time to thank god for his faithfulness our time is fast spent very quickly i'll be sharing tonight on a very powerful kingdom principle the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of the spoken word light is shining in the darkness Jesus he is Lord he is risen from the dead he is Lord truly light is shining in every darkness Jesus you are Lord hallelujah the word of God is not just for many believers we know the word of God to be an instrument the Bible calls it the sword of the spirit an instrument against Satan you know when Jesus came to tempt Satan said it is written it is written so many of us have come to know the word as an instrument against satan and so on and so forth but i need you to understand that the word of god is not just an instrument for victory against satan hallelujah that the word of god is god's agency for creation the word of god is god's tool for framing realities in this realm it's his principle Hebrews chapter 11 very quickly Hebrews chapter 11 thank you Jesus through faith we understand that the walls the systems we're framed by what the word of god follow me through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god it says so that the things which are seen were not made of things that do appear in other words our material realm came into being as a result of a spiritual technology from the supernatural world hallelujah and our understanding of that principle will equip us to create and to frame our world there are so many people who are waiting for god to create their future for them when you go to god in his sovereignty he grants you grace and revelation how many of you have prayed about a thing and the more you pray the more god sends you scriptures you want to see visions and all you see is scriptures and at the end of the prayer you feel very bad you know why because the light that comes in that word will help you and will equip you to be victorious and so the word of god is his creative agency hebrews uh, paul gives us a uh, the dynamics of the creation of the universe it says through faith we understand that the walls were what framed framed they had their physical structure by an activity that involved the word of God in other words the smallest unit of every material is not atoms it's not electrons neutrons and protons It's the word of God hallelujah and something very interesting I watched a documentary some years ago and 
some scientists were trying to rewind the earth they were trying to backdate the earth to rewind it to two minutes or something so that they would see the formation and they succeeded i can't remember the name of the documentary very powerful documentary and they were even able to rewind the earth according to them to some seconds before whatever i don't know how they did it don't ask me but they said the only thing that the machines and all of this could interpret was heat and light that was all no atoms no electrons no nothing so forget about that big bang nonsense write it for your exams and pass and go but i'm telling you if you need to be victorious in this life you need to realize that mankind and creation were not a product of two big banks that came no the direct definite operation of the word of god and that's what i want to teach us tonight hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that through faith we understand that the worlds were framed that means your life will only be framed by the word of god are you listening to me the word of god is the creative tool of the father he uses his word to frame things give them frames and realities Genesis chapter 1, the Bible makes us to understand that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. And it says, now the earth was dark, void, formless, and the spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters. Verse 3. It says, and God said. The Hebrew rendition is, God said, light be. He used the creative power of the word to call the things that were not as though they were. And he framed the recreated earth through the word of God. Hallelujah. There are so many believers who are just waiting for our jobs to recreate our lives. Or our certificates to recreate our lives. I need you to understand that your mouth is not just an instrument of eating food. That every time you take the word of God and put it in your mouth and you release it it's a technology in the realm of the spirit hallelujah it brings forth creative power everything you see in this auditorium is a product of god's creative power e and i today there was a day it was only in the bowels of the spirit the technology of the spirit brought it into existence and gave it frame are you listening to me this mic came as a product of the creative power of god's word your being here tonight was framed together by the creative power of god's word I, do you believe what i'm teaching you because I need us to step out of this place and realize that as believers it is within our power to create our future and not to sit down and allow things to try to create it there are many of us that live our lives by chance it's one song they used to sing and say whatever will be will be no 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 sir it doesn't work for believers it can work in your cartoon it doesn't work for your life and destiny so we need to come to a point where we realize that there is a provision there is a principle that creates realities the word of god hallelujah so. when jesus walked upon the earth the bible made us understand that he healed them with his word created all kinds of things called things that were not isn't it interesting hear me friends that when god calls you he doesn't give you any physical thing nothing hallelujah when god called abraham there's no record that animals fell from heaven three or four and he said all right now go ahead and just move isn't it interesting 
that the first seed God gives you in your life is not money or all of this is, is his word and he believes that that word is able to translate ah God I read something about Jacob that scared me I was I've been studying what prosperity principle Jacob used that made the animals to reproduce themselves with dark colors by looking at a dark object ah didn't give them anything just left a blessing spoke something that created a man's future and a man's destiny hallelujah there is nothing in this life that the word of god cannot give me hear me whatever the word cannot give you you can't get it if you ever get it it's a mirage run away from it any success that did not come by the word is only a mirage soon you will cry any lifting any promotion any increase that is not a byproduct of the word will not last and so as believers god gives us his word so that we are able to frame our future and frame our lives hallelujah for many believers we just stop at reading the word by his stripes i am healed he was made poor so that i'll become rich and all of that and we just read it and stop there i want you to know that there is more to the activity of the word of god than just reading it are you listening to me when you study the word of god and it stays in your spirit you take the word of god and put it upon the lips of faith and every time you begin to speak god's word can i tell you something until the word of god is spoken it cannot release the power and the potency that you need that's why many people have their bibles in their homes and they are still suffering as if jesus christ didn't die because we need to realize that it's more than just looking at your bible that you must put the word of god first in your heart and then the word of god must be released you don't just speak the word to have faith it's god's principle of creation are you listening to me very very important the more you realize friends that the word of god is an instrument of creation to frame your reality the bible said through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god so i take the word of god and begin to frame my health destiny are you listening to me i pick up god's word and I begin to make decrees under his anointing. I say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. According to God's word. I create a life of health. See. I've said it here. That the word of God does not just reveal your future. It can create one. Are you listening to me? That means. When you look at a life that is not consistent. With God's word. The word of God can change it. Powerful. Hallelujah. That you sit down and begin to frame your life with God's word. You begin to speak and declare. And say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will never beg. I will never sit running from hand to mouth. It doesn't matter what my background is. I understand that in the realm of the spirit the spoken word has creative ability the only thing that is permitted to go to your future before you is the words you send and boy if you send sufficient words to your future you will find a beautiful future there are so many people who step into their future and sit and say ah God is not fair what you are seeing today by the grace of God is the framework of years of speaking our tomorrow will reveal what we are speaking today are you listening to me it's a very simple but powerful teaching because there are so many believers that cry and lament over situations waiting for god to do something about it when god is telling you i have equipped you with the tools and the understanding to frame your reality you hear a report that is not supposed to be there are too many believers that give up and give in too quickly 
because we do not realize that within the believer given by God through the instrumentality of his word is the ability to change our situations can I tell you something there are very few people who you see and admire today who had the best situations in their lives by default people created it are you listening to me if you look at someone's wealth and admire it if he got it by the word of God it was created by the principle of God you speak that faith and then on this earth realm God begins to transfer it by the wisdom he gives you hallelujah many of us have allowed Satan to take advantage of our lives and we have watched our lives not make any progress many of us have sat back to watch things go wrong in our families yet every time we just look and we are just passive about it truth we are studying God's word but we do not realize that when the word of God is not spoken it will only reside in your spirit and stay there but it will not change your life until it is brought forth and declared he said declare ye that ye might be justified where the word of a king is there is power can I tell you something according to Jewish culture alright the proof that you are a king is that you can just speak and your word is done have you realized that in this earth realm, the more you become an oga, the proof that you are an oga is that you just speak and things happen. Hallelujah. If I say, um, Casey, come, and he gets up and comes, what happens? His ability to obey my word is proof that I'm not a non entity. Are you understanding me? and so you need to realize that the proof of your dominion the true proof of your dominion in the kingdom is that you speak things and they happen if things are not created by the power of your word you are not reigning and there are too many people struggling but the bible says there remaineth a rest for god's people that you come to a point where you frame your world with the creative power of god hallelujah many of us came here and saying lord will you meet my need lord will you do this and this and god is saying when will you get up and take responsibility and begin to put word in your lips stand as a king that you are are you listening to me arise there are many people who have been sitting you've been buffeted by satan again and again because we are unwilling to stand like kings that we are say after me i am royalty that within you is the ability to create the kind of future you want if you get to the top and don't find me there where you are is not the top <laughs> hallelujah you know why because i will not shut my mouth over my destiny you see in the earth realm if you keep quiet you are con the bible says even a fool when he is silent is considered wise so people just say i don't want to look for trouble there are many people who are afraid of making their faith declarations about their future so when you get up and begin to speak and say in the name of jesus i will not beg for bread and your roommate say i thought you just begged me for one indomie so what so what are you listening to me true faith we understand that the walls were framed framed for you to ever speak you must know the kind of life you want and for you to know the kind of life you want you have to go back to the word of god the word of god gives you a picture of the kind of life god has for you jeremiah 29 11 i know the things that i think the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end hallelujah there are many people can i tell you something i am convinced that one of the reasons why the holy spirit came back to resurrect jesus is because he spoke it how many of you know that before he died he said it he said i would die but after three days i will rise he wasn't just informing them he was releasing a word so that when the mortal body was dead on the third day that word was activated i've spoken things about my life and i'm not careful about. let me tell you something the man who brings you to a point of silence has destroyed your life 
Are you learning something this night? All that you need to speak. Many of us, all we speak is, I don't have this. I don't have that. My life is not this. We are the, when will you start speaking? Stop speaking what you are seeing. Begin to create. You are co-creators with God. Hallelujah. For years, I kept speaking. I said, I will never be a failure in life. I will never be a failure in ministry. There is nothing that my hands will ever touch that will fail. I, I tell you the truth. Take me anywhere the result will come. You know why? This technology of the spirit will work. Hmm. And so, Jesus Christ comes to a place and begins to heal the people with the power of his word. Hallelujah. Many times you come for meetings and you see all of these things. You create a doorway from the realm of the spirit to this realm. There are several believers that have several virtues of the spirit locked up in the realm of the spirit. But we are too silent. Oh, we are careful. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to look charismatic. Unfortunately, I hope you know that in Genesis, in Genesis chapter 3, the Bible says, and they heard the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. The Hebrew rendition is they had the talking spirit. That's what the Hebrew called God there. The spirit that talks. The talking spirit. Let me tell you something. If you make up your mind to walk with this principle I'm teaching you tonight, your success will scare you. There are many people who don't speak. I'm not just talking about a special time when you lock your door. You make it a part of your life to speak. Many of us speak, but we speak the wrong things. And so our lives begin to move in the direction of our words. The creative power of the spoken word. You never find me say certain things about myself. I cannot. It's not for me. No, sir. I shared it, I think, was it during the leaders meeting or something? Or somewhere. I said, even if I were not born again, I will never kill myself. That spirit of suicide, impossible. You know how much I believe in myself? I will never, never. The money I will use to buy rope to hang myself, I will eat food with it or do something else. You've got to speak your way to victory in this life if you sit down waiting for god you will sit down there forever you've got to speak you've got to prophesy you've got to declare ezekiel chapter 37 i trust god that will pray one of the things god was bringing my attention to and in this place we are raising talking spirits men and women the Janfa had always said it that in every man is a prophetic dimension whether or not you are called to occupy the office of a prophet the ability to decree to create to establish hallelujah i am my church we don't like talking start talking start talking open your mouth and decree declare tell yourself my life let me tell you something every time things look like they are not going they are not working don't sit down and say oh god when will my change come the day you start speaking many of us say what if i'm speaking and it's going worse that's the time to keep speaking more you keep quiet you've made the biggest mistake satan brings us you know what depression is let me tell you something depression is a demonic mechanism to bring you to a state of silence so that you don't speak again that's why men are the ones who are most depressed because according to our character and makeup when men have serious issues they keep quiet it's women that always talk why did it when you see a man just keep quiet the worries on that man if he puts it on you it will kill you I watched one Nigerian film that one man thinks we're not going um, things were not going um, right and all of this as in several kinds of uh, terrible things were happening and then they were the landlord was supposed to come and drive him out that was the final thing he just came out of his veranda and he just put his hand like this and while the people were discussing and trying to beg the landlord's boys the guy had died 
sins. They came outside and found out that this guy died on his hands. I said, what, what kind of life is that? The last ounce of energy that he had. He'd have said, Lord, there's got to be more. Either your word is true or I'm doing something wrong. In any case, speaking will reveal it. I make up, shut your door. We have very few believers that understand the creative power of the word. Hallelujah. And so we sit down and say, Lord, Lord, when will you help me? When will you help me? Many of us have been looking for all kinds of things. Many of our parents are there. And you say, ah, God gave us this thing for business. We have been looking for capital. We are waiting for one uncle. You are waiting for one uncle. Have you not heard that the Bible says the word became flesh? So the word can become flesh. Ah, when the word becomes flesh, it will dwell among you. If the word can become flesh, the word can become the money you are looking for. The word can become the increase you are looking for. The word can become anything. The Bible says the word that was in the realm of the spirit wore a material body. It became flesh. The word became flesh. Oh, that's why every promise of God in my life must become flesh. I must identify with it here and now in this realm. Hallelujah. The power of God's word. I understand that I live in a kingdom that is governed by words. How come sorcerers know this and demons know this and witches are... You never go to a native doctor and he is silent. They are always saying things. Whether you understand or not is not the issue. It's that they are saying things. The creative power of the spoken word. Many of us have stopped speaking about our lives because you felt, well, I started and I'm not seeing anything. The Bible says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. Let me tell you something. Every time God sends you, he will send you with only a word. Many people, when they are starting out in ministry, they've not done anything. They are looking for partners. They are looking for everything. <laughs> All this begging 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 sitting down to beg people there are many of us are you not tired of begging your uncles and aunties running helter skelter there are many of us who are looking for our school fees and you will not let them you've called almost everybody on your phone and you are angry why don't you make the word become flesh he said but how shall these things be that's what mary asked he said how shall these things be oh god how shall these things be that's what Zechariah said. When the angel brought him word, he doubted and Gabriel was angry. He said, I am Gabriel that standeth in the presence of God. And guess what? Zechariah became deaf and dumb. You know why? So that his words would not change the plan of God. And his mouth was shut until the baby was born and he used his hand to write it. He said, his name is John. God said, now your mouth can open. Isn't that amazing? That's a powerful lesson we need to learn. God had, because Zechariah was a priest, he was operating in a prophetic office. And if he made decree, he could interrupt heaven's affairs on earth. There are many people, have you not known that your speaking cooperates with the heavens to bring to birth realities? Every time God shows you, many of you get up with a beautiful dream. You saw people celebrating you in the dream. That's an opportunity to make that word become flesh. You just lie down and write it in your book and say, I know one day it will happen. And you are angry now. You saw it when you were four years. How old are you? 30. You have not seen any manifestation. Hallelujah. We have to come to points where we keep speaking. Speaking. You want to go for a job interview, you begin to speak. I am well favored. I am well favored. The grace of God is at work in my life. I feel very sad when I see people living as if the word of God is not working. I tell you the truth with all humility what you see today is a product of the word becoming flesh the strength and the creative potency of the word on the lips of faith hallelujah who told you the blessings in the word cannot become your reality 
it's just that we have trained ourselves to run and beg do everything we run with everything just run, look at our parents running elter skelter i know this person i know that person some of us are already looking for admission and the, and the next thing is please who do you know that can help me let me share with you a story to the glory of god i didn't ask him for permission but i'll share it over steve's admission he shared with me let me tell you something when steve was looking for admission i didn't ask for it but i'm sorry sir hallelujah the first list came out and he didn't get the admission and then the second list came out he also didn't get the admission hallelujah then they used to do first second and third list and then he meandered his way to living living faith church and while he sat down there he had somebody giving a testimony that he went around the senate building seven times speaking and when he did the admission the second list came and he got it and steve said ah see him he can confirm it steve went around your senate seven times carbol satire the bible says wherever the, the my feet treads upon has been given unto me that's him the word of god the word of god let me share with you something to bless your heart when my sister my sister she's in final year now to the glory of god she got admission she was given economics and something happened and she collapsed during her work and then she didn't she didn't get the, the she didn't make maths or something then and so when it was time to give her admission things didn't work out and uh, they said well here's your admission letter but you don't have maths and so i said so where do we try now i was asking her and she said okay i can do mass communication i've said lord what is my sister going to study i've been blessing other people and god said my sister was going to study mass communication i said that's all i went to the hod's office and i said well uh, there's a one full and man like this he said uh that well there's no admission there's no this thing i just left him quietly and see when you know this power you stop begging people the place of your victory is not in the open you go and shut yourself and say are you not the creator of heavens and the earth and i began to speak and suddenly as i began to speak god gave wisdom and god told me he said go and meet prof rampia's father of blessed memory he blessed our lives before he went to be with the lord hallelujah and god just gave me the wisdom and i went and met him and he said you mean the man said no admission and he just got up and went and went to talk with the man i said well it's not like there's no admission it's just that they have to wait and see first and all of that and that cut the long story short my sister is in final year today my younger sister could not enter school for a long time because she was looking for a particular paper she did her best and everything she got frustrated at a point and one year i got angry i had gotten admission my sister had not gotten admission i got angry in the court many of you don't know it now in the court there that night he was a, i became a talking spirit i said lord even if my sister doesn't write wayek english must come out this year i put it as a time i, I got angry my spirit and the spirit of faith i was the one who drove her to a cafe and when we went to the cafe she couldn't come out because she had written exams many times just like many of you are saying master we have toiled all night nevertheless at thy word hallelujah and when i checked it and i saw c in her english i came out say hey where are you oh, yeah collect your today by god's grace she has graduated served she's a happy happy wonderful lady She's looking for a job and she told me i said truly if i'm a blessing and i'm a servant of god believe me you have a very good job any of you are saying hey, man of god don't you know that is the same ability that resides within you why do you think we sing that song same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love 
that rescued the earth lives in me how many how many things have come our way that would have changed by the creative power of God's word Ezekiel chapter 37 very quickly and then we'll pray this was the encounter of the prophet Ezekiel and the spirit of the living God a very simple lesson for us to get and then I like us to pray it's my desire friends that the least person among us here will command fearful breakthroughs and advancements in our lives that we will lead the reality of this scripture that says the least among them will be as great as David so that it will not just be a few people I look forward to times when it's time for testimony we'll have to stop and say hold on because we will say I must give this word works that statement the word works I don't hear many people say it again that means it has not been working for many people that means you have stopped speaking Ezekiel 37 thank you Lord Jesus for the breath of your spirit upon this word the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of a valley that was full of bones say it was full of bones so it's not only your life that is full of bones there's a valley that been full of bones and believe me there are some people's lives that the bones are almost filling the valley you need to hear this message tonight and begin to reduce those bones and create an exceeding great army out of those bones many of us do not realize that the same things that look like disadvantages are the raw materials that will be used to create the miracle the same bones now became an exceeding great army read on and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were what they were what it was a description of the state of hopelessness see i don't care what problem you have in this place i don't care what kind of future you need to frame solomon tells us that there is nothing that is happening now on the earth that has not happened before whether it's financial situation whether it's your education whether it's whatever the bible makes us to understand that with the creative power of god's word you can frame a glorious destiny you may not be able to do anything about yesterday but you can begin to speak today to redeem your tomorrow are you listening to me verse 3 and he said unto me son of man can these bones live again do you see a future where these bones suddenly become human beings standing ah the prophet said bones becoming an army is hard to oh god i'm a prophet i've seen visions i've seen all kinds of supernatural things but lord on this only thou knowest hallelujah it gets to points in your life where if God tells you certain situations can change, they look so impossible. Until the miracle happens, you will never believe it can happen. When you hear some testimonies and close your mouth, the person was not laughing when he was trusting God for the breakthrough of that testimony. Remember when we were going to Pangshin 2006? We didn't have the, it's not like now that we are reaping the products of the word of God. We are going for a crusade. A few people here were there then. And there was no money for the transportation. But we had asked the drivers to come to Main Gate. And we told everybody, go and be entering the bus. Where he and I meet on campus, God is my witness. That was where I was walking. I said, in the name of Jesus, Lord you have given us this instruction your word is true and as i was speaking there and then people were running from hostels and running from wherever and coming and saying i hear you people are about to leave here's the money ask him that's how we raise the money at that point why are we too quick to doubt god 
and his ability to bring his promises to pass in our lives I believe God I believe God I believe God I believe God everything he has said in his word I believe and I have declared that I will see it happen in my lifetime hallelujah so I'm provoking us tonight to realize that part of the principles of the kingdom is the ability to speak God's word you have a business enough of begging people and trying to look for favor who can connect who can do this you are looking for a job enough of begging this begging 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 thing I'm telling you I've said it again and again and I'll keep saying it thank you for those of you who are graduating take your eyes away from men take your eyes away from men you will be disappointed again and again in this life in my little life I've come to see that anything that the word of God does not give is vanity and is a mirage it will only bring you pain and sorrow men can promise you heaven and hell and you will be this not because they want to be unfaithful the best and the greatest of any man is still a man son of man can these bones live again he said only thou knowest verse 4 he said again he said unto me do what are you reading it again he said unto me prophesy he didn't say read the scroll he said what prophesy speak prophesy 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 and say what he said prophesy upon he didn't say prophesy to god you need to know when to speak to god and when to speak to situations and circumstances and speak to your future many of us are always talking to god both the things we should tell him and the things we should do ourselves he says speak upon these bones it's the same thing as god saying josh you people are trusting God for a boss project. Do you believe that this can become a boss? People say, ah, God is not stupid like that. Wisdom is profitable to direct. That's the kind of carnality that has come upon our minds. That we are not able to believe God. If God tells me our boss will come from this. Till I die, you will meet me on my knees here. Calling this to become a boss. I will not respond foolishly. I will respond to the word but if he has decreed it it will come to pass hallelujah so you find the truth of god's word concerning your life in the world and then you keep it in your spirit and suddenly you begin to frame i will never be poor in this life never never be poor in this life you know why you know why let me tell you something i've said it again i'm saying it with all humility there is nobody here that receives salary from this ministry ask the treasurers they are there nobody i've never asked the ministry to give me one naira for my daily bread i said god i can't be tying my faith and the well-being of my family to the obedience of someone so god tells you to sow a seed into my life and you struggle with god for three months before saying yes while you are struggling i'm suffering from nothing i rather believe god's word for myself are you listening to me i rather believe god's word for myself oh i know his word works but it doesn't just work blindly i'm teaching you the dynamics of the creative power of god's word that you put god's word in your lips not just to pray and say lord i want this so i've been telling you if you don't give me you are not speaking the word you are just making noise and, and disturbing the realm of the spirit you need to be constructive 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 are you getting me you need to be constructive ah god i said this and that i'm trusting you when will the change come anyway i've made up my mind to give you glory you keep giving glory over nothing you need to calm down what the creative force listen listen i'm very serious about what I'm, I'm i'm saying the creative force in the realm of the spirit is not your words is god's word 
so if what you have been speaking is your word it will not create anything if your word becomes god's word then it will create something all this vain thing that people command angels up and down and no angel has moved at your command the angels will only move at your command if your word is the word of god is it as my angels go go by which authority who are you you didn't send them the bible says they were sent to minister and so you they are they move only under the instruction of the holy spirit so when it looks like they are obeying your words it's because your word has become god's word ha no mountain will move because of your word oh mountain move you know me ah you know you it takes a revelation where you understand no demon will give way because your name is called joshua selman nothing will change in your life because you are a christian many people say god i'm a christian my life is not moving forward i will go back to drinking and smoking please yeah that's the door go go and drink and smoke and see how good you will become but you must come to a point in your life where you realize that it is within my power to frame my destiny there's a place for praying in tongues are you listening to me it's all speaking the word but there's a place for conscious and willful lifting of the word of god that's why i love the word of faith movement you put the word in your lips and make decrees things are not working every time god keeps convicting you god keeps convicting you change this situation many people say okay josh i've been speaking god's word nothing is moving don't worry keep speaking is changing when the clouds be full of rain they will empty themselves a day will come the miracle will overtake you you say god is too much god say too much for what you have ignited you have put the code it's, it, it can't stop ah i cannot i cannot stop being blessed you know why you know why i understand the principles from god's word there's no place i will go in this life that the door will not be open it's not about me it's about a spiritual principle through faith we understand that he and i was framed by the word of god through faith we understand that koinonia came into being it was only an announcement in january today through faith it has gained structure through faith we understand that we'll be taking the nations through faith a day will come through the media through whatever a day will come that what god has told you that you will own the largest satellite that will be to africa what tbn is to the world through faith you know that it will come to pass Men say well it will happen one day I'll, I'll meet paul crouch you see the kind of unbelief i'm talking about you don't need to meet paul crouch you just need to know the word of god so all i need to do is god what are you saying if god says by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow he and i will have a tv station i will announce it and rejoice and say guys this is what god has said and then i will not just go back foolishly and cross my leg i said god's word he told timothy he said how did he put it um he said make a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given to you in other words it's the word of let me tell you you will keep seeing things in the realm of the spirit that will never happen in your life if you keep your mouth shut there are too many people they've seen themselves with new suits they've seen new car they've seen blessings they've seen family you saw yourself flying in, in the air until now bicycle has not even crossed the gate of your house you know why because everybody's just crossing his leg and waiting god is god you think so there are people who don't sleep in the night they make it as a praying time while you are snoring up and down they are making decrees over their life they dance and while they dance you see them and say ah look at that person just dancing foolishly that's what they are doing then one day you see them standing and you're like hey god this was my classmate what were you doing when he was speaking you are in the lecture after after a lecture the lecturer is not coming and you see someone just speaking and say lord i know that the course i'm studying may not be very lucrative but my life is upon your word i make decrees and the person is listening you're like please if you want to give to caesar what belongs to caesar you're in the class stop doing all these your holy things and then suddenly you see doors that will open as the person is graduating 
that's when somebody is, is being promoted abroad and they'll bring the person and say we have been waiting for you i don't know you but god gave us a word to bless you i say ah some people are locking this lock there's nothing called lock brothers and sisters there is nothing forget about all those lock lock mother nature thing you create your future say after me in the name of jesus i have the power to frame my future you cannot frame a future you don't have an idea of have you ever seen any architect wanting to build a house and he tells the people just build they say where is the toilet they say just just build okay i am not complaining is you that i will live in the house just be building and the guy says should i put it in the middle of the house say, just keep building before hear me before you build any house you must have a plan your plan so you must have an idea what does the word picture of your future does the word of god give you the word of god gives you a picture of a blessed life let me show you some pictures that the word of god gives can we look at it very quickly all right guys let me show you something powerful psalms 128 quickly I don't know if you ever desire this kind of future but that's the kind of future i desire we're going to pray shortly psalms 128 are you there psalms 128 blessed is everyone that feareth the lord and walketh in his ways verse 2 okay we have it on the slide verse 2 it says for thou shalt eat the labor of your hands is it in your bible that's that's a painting of your picture of your future he said thou shalt eat the labor of your hand happy shall thou be and it shall be well with you verse 3 thy wife that means you'll be married so that ends the issue of disturbing god and not letting god rest oh when will my wife come the bible already said thy wife for heaven's sake are you understanding he said thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by thy side so no no fear of divorce she will be by your side that's what the bible says of thy house he said thy children so there will be children like olive plants round about your table depends on how many you want i'm not sure i want round about my table if i have three children i've contributed my best to the planet hallelujah next verse verse four behold Thus shall be, thus shall be, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. So this is a scripture that you can speak. Let me confess, Jakes has been eating this scripture for the last how many days? Especially the part of the blessing. No, 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 I'm not talking of the wife part. Many of you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a prophetic picture of your destiny. And you say, Lord, I do not yet see all things under my feet but my mouth will bring it under my feet and you begin to speak and say lord this is your word i believe your word and i begin to decree hallelujah are you there one more scripture what's the other scripture sir help me there. job 5 ah yeah let me show you how many of you know job was a dangerous man that guy job you need to study the book of job let me show you something in job 5 i'm showing you a prophetic picture of your destiny mm. job 5 hallelujah okay Verse, verse 19 he shall deliver thee in six troubles yea seven in seven shall no evil touch thee in famine he shall redeem thee from death recession recession ah there's recession everywhere it's coming into nigeria so the word of god says in famine he will redeem you from death are you are you understanding it says and is war and in war from the power of the sword And thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Let me tell you what the scourge of the tongue is. Somebody spoke against me in the village. And he said it will not be well with me. The Bible says that there is 
an operation of the spirit that makes you immune to the scourge of the tongue let men speak whatever they speak as they are speaking all they see is the dust from your back advancement unlimited there's nothing any man can do to stop me this young man standing may be young in himself but there is a mighty hand that i'm sitting upon every one of us is sitting upon a hand that cannot fail hear me cannot fail when the word of god enters your spirit people will think you are arrogant it's just an expression of the truth of god's word that's why jesus said come on i've, I've been humble. before abraham was i am he said don't take my being nice for granted i believe god's word tonight the meeting is supposed to provoke you he said neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt what laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth hallelujah very very solid very very powerful scriptures that god is showing let me show you something in isaiah 43 isaiah 43 i love the word of god i love the word of god i love the word of god with my life i love the word of god Are you there it says verse 18 remember not the former things nor consider the things of old he said behold i do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert so if god sends you to a wilderness there's still no problem i will make a way in the wilderness rivers streams in the desert for as long as i keep speaking the word of god over people's lives they will keep getting results you know why let me show you very quickly it's not because my name is called joshua selman isaiah 44 mm verse 24 thus saith the lord thy redeemer him who formed thee from the womb i am the lord who maketh all things who stretched for the heavens alone who spreadeth abroad the earth by myself who frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad who turneth wise men backwards and make their knowledge foolishness who confirmed the word of what is it in your bible he confirms the words of his servant and the counsel of his messengers so that when i decree and say in the name of jesus you are blessed i am confident you will get a result because he confirms the words of his servant you create your future with the kind of life you I mean you create the kind of life you want with the word of God I am blessed in the city I know it I know it I am blessed in the country everywhere I go I am blessed let me tell you something if I step into a place even if my enemies are, the, are all the people there they will bless me the Bible says when a man's ways please the Lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him that's why I don't have enemies i don't have enemies i will keep being promoted in this life from one dimension of grace to the other the reason is because my promotion in life is not tied to any man the bible says promotion neither comes from the east nor the west nor the south promotion comes from god hallelujah i will never get arrogant over what god is doing in my life you know why the bible says the race is not to the swift the battle is not to the strong said it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of the lord that showeth mercy. 
when you saturate your life with God's word then you begin to declare favor follows me everywhere I go I'm favored I'm favored hallelujah I'm favored Kabatko Satabalakaya I'm favored blessed in the city blessed in the country in the name of Jesus the works of my hands are blessed everything I lay my hands to do is blessed blessed in my business blessed in ministry you know why the Bible says whatsoever it says shall be like a tree planted by the streams I will never know dryness in my life because I'm planted by the rivers of living waters he said whose whose um, whose leaves does not wither and then he say whatsoever 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 he doeth prospers if I don't do it it's not because I'm afraid of failing I'm, I, I'm, 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 I want to obey God but anything I lay my hands to do if it is of God it will prosper can you come to that point Laban made a confession he said i know that on account of you god has blessed me your presence in my house is like the ark that was in the house of obededon favor follows me everywhere i go i have the grace of god that's why when i shake your hands and i say you are blessed believe me you are blessed you don't know the scriptures that frame the revelation of what i'm doing that's why you can step into a place and say peace be still and there will be peace hear me brothers and sisters i can go on my knees and beg you you are not victorious in this life until you come to a point where you can put the word of god in your lips and begin to frame your destiny frame your destiny frame your destiny say after me i'm framing my destiny don't sit down and watch things not go in your in your family there are people who are not getting married and all of this and i say well he's just god he's just god yes you did bible study about it have you spoken yes you cried and rolled have you gotten up to speak the bible says david cried until there was no strength in him god didn't say anything and then he got up and spoke and said god should i pursue god said this is what i've been waiting pursue and overtake so many of us tonight need to wipe our tears and say satan i'm not as weak as you think i am i've been equipped i may look weak in myself but let me tell you i am going to take the word of god and put upon my lips and begin to speak and say lord my father is getting a good job that will restore him from the time he has been blackmailed a job that will pay him and restore him and you are speaking and you call your father and say daddy i want you to know that i'm on a project speaking over your life and destiny and my love i say well thank you son or daughter the day they call him you say ah this thing works oh it works it works i believe the word of god the word of god works i can take my life to death at God's word I know his word works there is more to the story of my life there's more to the story of this great ministry because of the power and the operation of God's word our boldness our sufficiency is not in ourselves our sufficiency is in the confidence that we derive from the integrity of God's word no matter what challenge you are in no matter what miracle you need for your life I like you to know that if you stand to be an ambassador and make it a project to begin to decree only God's word go and frame certain scriptures put it on your laptop I like that software that while you are working on your laptop it keeps bringing uh, the word out instead of putting your picture and you see yourself when you went for excursion you just put your leg like, put the word of God change your ringtone to something that will administer the word of god ah josh has started fanatical okay oh. when you make the word of god a project in your life and you begin to speak and make decrees and say in the name of jesus my life is blessed once in a while you invite your friends or your roommates and say let's go and pray and after praying in tongues say hold on we are going to speak definitely 
and when you speak let's finish up this scripture Ezekiel so that we can pray sometimes I wish there's time and time again to just keep expounding on God's word Ezekiel you do wonders you do wonders in armies faithful God faithful God ha. hallelujah hallelujah hear me I didn't want to share this but I'm, I'm sensing my spirit to share it. God told me something he said son the dimension of influence and increase and expansion that you are stepping into I mean everyone not just me as a person together as a family God told me we are stepping into fearful dimensions of increase and expansion by the spirit we are told the leaders I remember John first saw it in a vision and when God told me I started laughing I was happy and I was laughing because I know what God means by that God is saying son I've shown you the picture in the heavens make it real in this realm and I began to say Lord Kapo Sataya I partner with you koinonia it's not just intimacy partnership I agree with you let it be done as it is in the heavens so friends you have not seen increase you have not seen expansion God told me with it will come many persecution because people will talk a time will come people will say these people their ways are not straight the way things are happening let me tell you brothers and sisters we don't have any secret this is it the good old word of God the good old word of God I love the prophetic so much because it announces the thing before it happens you do want to see me you do want to see me you do wonders faithful God hallelujah 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 increase on all sides that's what I see advancement on all sides breaking new grounds I don't see a worse tomorrow. No! By the Spirit. Greater transformation. Greater building. That's what I see. I look forward to a time when the worship team go international. They are going. The media going international. Oh yes, it's happening by the Spirit and it's for the kingdom. I don't know what you see, but that's what I see. That's what I see. Many of you need to change the word of God changes your perception increase on all sides undeniable expansion by the word of God operating on an economic frequency that cannot be calculated by any law of economics only by the spirit and when we dumbfound the wisdom of men then we shrink back to say king of kings be glorified be glorified let's finish the scripture friends I like you to prepare yourself to be a part of what God is doing and say unto them oh ye dry bones hear ye the word of who it was Ezekiel speaking but he called it the word of who so although you are speaking it in the realm of the spirit it is registered as the very words of Jesus Christ carrying the same potency and creative ability that's why i love the prophetic the prophetic is not just to reveal to you the future it can create one the prophet said this woman has been good to us what do we give her can you imagine he didn't say let me go and pray and find out he said this woman has been nice it is within our power to create a future for this family and he said according to the time of life that God will raise generals among us 
who will make decrees and say because of me lord my family my mother didn't go to school my dad didn't go to school but they will reap the blessings of having a blessed child refuse to see yourself as small nobody knows you now but the word of god will create a ladder for you you will ride prosperously through life that when men say there is a casting down there is an invisible ladder people say where is the ladder that you are climbing in the word of god the word of god was a a pillar for someone to walk on water and he said come he said if it be thou bid me come and he said come and peter got up full of his own belief notwithstanding he walked on that water i'm telling you the truth there is no situation you cannot walk over i believe god's word i believe god's word i believe god's word i believe that a time will come in my life when i will almost not be allowed to do anything because there will be too many people to bless me where somebody will say please don't pay the school fees of your children give me the privilege of having your children come to my school that's what i believe i don't know about you i know that a time will come when the the financial blessings god is giving you you will not see any need to use it because there's really no need you will just keep pumping it for the advancement of the kingdom you are just saying thank you jesus it's a realm of it's a realm where the bible says the reaper will overtake the sower you don't know whether it's a harvest or it's a seed you are so you cannot even tell again you lift up your voice someone comes with a khaki of a house uh, I'm, I'm a khaki and a house and says god gave me an instruction and told me to build this and bless you for your service for the kingdom people say what is this then you remember when you were on campus and you were shouting and saliva was pouring from your mouth you say this is the fruit and you will stand as a testament and as an epistle to show that the word of God is potent and that it has power. Rise up on your feet. For light is shining in the darkness. Jesus. Verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Say after me, a noise. Oh, it always starts with a noise. For every time you begin to speak, there is a sound in the spirit. Echoing your confessions. You may not see it, but there is a movement. He said, as I prophesied, there was a noise. There was a sound. And then a shaking. And bones came together. And verse 9, he said unto me, prophesy to the wind prophesy to the wind son of man say unto the wind O breath breathe upon this lane that they may live so i prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up the authority of a king is in his speaking for where the word of a king is there is power i don't know if you are angry tonight to know that you have a responsibility over your destiny go ahead and thank god for the word say lord i thank you oh yes koinonia is also a place of partnership 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 cooperating with the heavens I see my future in the word of God. I see my future in the word of God. And I speak. Go ahead and begin to speak. I speak. I am better than where I am now. I speak. Please make sure you are speaking through faith. We understand that the world will frame, will frame, frame your future inside and outside. Frame your future. The Holy Ghost is hearing what you're saying. The angels are there moving at the direction of your word. 
There's creative power. Create a future. A blessed one. I declare I have a blessed life. Free of worry. Free of fear. Full of prosperity. Full of grace. I'm moving from grace to grace. The Bible says my path is as a shining light that shines brighter, brighter unto the perfect day. I declare the lines are fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. Gentiles come to my light, kings to the brightness of my rising. Oh, hallelujah! I'm favored, blessed in the city, blessed in the country, in the name of Jesus. I'm moving from grace to grace, from glory to glory. My path is as a light that shineth brighter and brighter. Everything I lay my hands to do prospers. The Lord commands the blessings on my storehouse and upon all that I set my hands to do. My gates are continually open. I receive the forces of the Gentiles. Pray. Pray. Increase on every side. Promotion on every side. Favor on every side. Favor on every side. Favor on every side. Favor on every side. A sick free life. A worry free life. A life of joy and gladness. Enjoying the blessings of God. Taking the kingdom of God. To the unreached places by the power of God. Blessed in my business, blessed in my life, experiencing ever increasing glory, ever increasing glory, ever increasing glory. Come on, pray, pray. The creative power of the word of God upon your lips. My family members are blessed. They are blessed. They are blessed. No death. No death. I refuse to die. I live long. I choose life. No toposo kemakai. I suck honey from the rock. 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 Every wilderness becomes a plain ground. Every wilderness. Every dry ground is fruitful unto me. Every dry ground is fruitful from grace to grace. From glory to glory. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye